everyone, it's James from the Fit RV. So we travel kind of a lot, but I've still got a full-time day job. Now the good news is I can do that job from just about anywhere, but it does require me to be online and reachable during business hours. Now I gave up on campground Wi-Fi a long time ago. So for me, being able to work and enjoy the RV lifestyle means I've got to have a good cell signal. And then I just hotspot my phone for internet. Now, this is not a problem at all when we're like in civilization, but when we get out pretty remote, which we sometimes do, that means we rely on a good cell booster. Now we've traveled with a cell booster in our RV Lance here for years, and it's an older model WeBoost, and it's always done a fantastic job for us. But recently, we've been traveling in this van, which is on loan to us from Winnebago, and it did not come with a cell booster. Now, I did kind of make a half-hearted attempt to take Lance's cell booster and get it to work on Parky, but the roof configuration is all different, and it didn't really work. And so I was super excited to see the WeBoost Drive XRV announced because it comes with a new, much more powerful exterior antenna. So I've got one, we're gonna put it to the test. So let's get going. Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna be installing. It's the WeBoost Drive XRV. And I'm not normally one for unboxing videos, but I'm actually really impressed with what they've got in the box here. It's amazingly complete. So there are the things you'd expect, right? There's some instructions. There's your external antenna. This is the more powerful antenna that I'm really looking forward to. There is the indoor, the booster box. This goes inside and connects the two antennas, relays the signal. That's great. Here is the indoor antenna. It's a little bit different from like the little candy bar antenna that we had in our old one. So that's great. And you'd expect those things. There's some, some cable to extend. There's like power adapters. But what I'm really impressed with is they even include things like like zip ties to tidy up your cable installation. They include, where is it? It's in one of these packages. They include a drill bit. Yeah, here, a drill bit. So if you've got like a class C RV, you don't have a metal RV, they've got a drill bit so you can like drill in. They've got a little cover to cover up the cable entry if you had to drill your own hole. It's really amazing. There's brackets, there's all sorts of bolts and, and mounting squares to secure your cable on the inside. It's, I, was, I was blown away by the completeness of what they gave you to install it. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be installing. And the next step is to get outside and start uh, fishing things through the roof port on the Winnebago. Okay, now here's the roof port. And you can see I've already installed the antenna with the supplied brackets on the back. And I think it's important to note at this point that I didn't need to use anything that wasn't in the kit. I didn't have to run to the home center for washers. I didn't, I didn't need to go buy cable ties, nothing. It was all there. So thumbs up for the, uh, for the installation kit for the WeBoost. Now, this little roof port is where the magic happens on this coach. Basically, there's a box, and rather than drilling through the roof of the coach, I just need to drill into this little box, which I've done, run cable down to the inside. It comes right into a cabinet that's got power. So all that's left for me to do is to seal up the little hole on the back of this roof port, and I'm done up here. So now with the external the antenna cable all run and the antenna mounted. It's just time to hook up the remaining parts of the WeBoost Drive XRV. So, first thing I will do is connect the outside antenna to the booster. And that cable is here. And I'll mount this up in a more permanent way once I've got it working. And then we're going to connect the inside antenna to the booster. And I'm just going to set that there temporarily. And then I need to apply power, which is over here. So as you can see, there's a lot of extra cable. So if you had a much larger RV than our van, it'd be easy to spread these components out. Okay, and now it's time to, uh, to power it up. So right now I'm looking at this phone. I've got three bars of service. Give it a plug. And oh, four bars of service. Cool. Okay, and that's gonna do it for the install here. And I have to say, I didn't even really bleed 
and I didn't have to go to the hardware store. So that leaves me wondering, was that even a project? Was, the was that even an install? Because usually I have to bleed and I have to go to the hardware store. Anyway, all that's left now is to go find someplace with really, really bad cell reception to give it a test. So road trip. Okay, so we've gone and found someplace with really, really terrible cell service. In fact, it's so terrible. I ran a speed test, which would kind of give you an idea of real world usage. And the worst results I've ever seen are a download speed of 0.27 megabits per second and an upload of 0.08 on this uh, Verizon iPhone. So now I've got two phones here. This one's Verizon, this one's AT&T. And so that's the download, like the speed test. But then also, we can run, it's difficult, they make it difficult now, but you can actually get the uh, signal strength on here, minus 123. And on the AT&T phone, we are at, uh, it keeps bouncing around, we are at minus 116. Okay, so now we're gonna plug in the cell booster. And we've got a green light, we're good to go. We'll give it a second to settle out and give us some new numbers. Okay, and right away on this phone, I am at, where is it? RSRP zero, minus 110, so an improvement of 10 dB. Oh, now it's minus 108. And on the AT&T phone, we are at RS minus 102. Oh, now it's minus 97, even better. Okay, but the real, the real proof is in the pudding, so let's run that speed test again. Much, much better. I'm gonna let it finish running before I give you the numbers, but. Okay, the results are in, and we have a download speed of 6.57 megabits per second and an upload of 0.5. So, on the download side, that's like, what it's like, I don't know, 18 times, 20 times better. And on the upload, it's also considerably better. So this would actually be usable and would allow me to, to somewhat work from this location. So there you have it, the install of the WeBoost Drive XRV and some real world tests to show you that it actually does improve your cell service and means that I can work from awesome places like this. This is James from the Fit RV. See you later.